They say the harder you fall, the higher you bounce back. The Van Horsens know firsthand. Easier said than done. We spent the first year just trying on our own. After dealing with infertility for years. And ended up ultimately going to in vitro fertilization. The happy couple prepared for twins. Had lots of baby showers, a lot of excitement, lots of gifts, a lot of support. But then at 34 weeks gestation. They couldn't find the heartbeat of one of the babies. Doctors induced Amanda and out came Addison, their oldest. Her twin brother Landon would not survive. Despite the heartbreak, Amanda and Tim persevered. A little stressful. In 2013, Amanda gave birth to twins Alexis and Aiden. We had three in diapers, and that accounts to about 25 to 30 diapers a day. A year later, they conceived on their own. That's where now two-year-old Emmett comes in. I still remember Tim looking at it and looking at the paper and he said to me, why does this look positive? And the family continues to grow. More diapers, more crying, more kisses. Hold it. Hold it. Meet Emma and Ella. Ella has darker, thicker hair. Tim and Amanda's third set of twins. It's more common than you think. Dr. David Colombo, director of obstetrics at Spectrum Health, says about 3% of all pregnancies result in twins. Ovulation induction and IVF both increase the risk of multiples. And the Van Horsens have it mastered. To get to church is a little bit, a little bit of a circus. I just love having... It's a lot of love. Yeah, a lot of love in the house. A house filled with kids bouncing as two parents bounce back. <laughs> Well, the Van Horsen family welcomed their newest additions, Ella and Emma, Monday three weeks ago at Spectrum Health Zealand Community Hospital. Ella arrived first two minutes before her twin, Emma. The two were from the couple's initial round of IVF, so they were frozen for six years. Mike Deanna, back.